coming out was like kind of odd how it happened. Well, it's okay. So it's so funny. It was so unplanned. So I, I, I knew since I was little that I was never straight. I knew that. And I, I, but I also was never like, oh, I'm gay. And I, I had told myself for a long time, I was like, one day, like if I have someone to come out with, then I will come out. And so the TikTokers from the Pride House came over to my house and we did this TikTok together and it was like to the song, ain't it fun, ain't it fun, now that you're one of us. And after I did it, I called my girlfriend and no one knew about us, no one knew about me even being gay yet, also not her being gay, but us as a whole too. And I was like, I think after they posted this TikTok, like I think it's gonna out me. And she was like, it for sure is. And I was like, great, sick. And we had been dating for like almost a month at that point. And I was like, all right, cool. So then it did, and that video people were, you know, going bananas over. And so I was like, you know what? We're gonna have some fun with this. And so I did the one to Born This Way, because I was like, the thing is, is it's true. And that night, actually, one of the members of the Pride House, Molly, she texted me, and I've known Molly since I was like seven. She texted me, and she was like, hey, like, if you want us to take this down, like, I'm sorry, you're getting all this. And I, she didn't know. And so I texted her, and I was like, honestly, Molly, I was like, I was trying to figure out a way to tell you guys. I was like, but it's true. I was like, I actually am in a really happy relationship with a girl. And it's my first ever, and I was like, so I don't really mind. Like, it's making this all super easy and feel super happy and welcomed, and I, I love it. And she was like, oh, my God, we're so proud of you and all this stuff. And I was like, thank you so much. And then I was like, you know what? It's time. Like, the, world, the world's going to know. And I... I, my, I texted my publicist that morning because she was like, oh, are you going to do anything else? Like any other TikToks, any other posts? And I was like, no, no, no. I was like, I'm just going to kind of let it simmer now. And then that night I had taken the my cousin, best gay cousin ever shirt picture like three days before that. And I posted on my close friend's story so that way all my close friends knew. And I was on FaceTime with my girlfriend and I was like, I want to post this on my real story. And she was like, do it. And I was like, okay. And so, boop. And then I was like, uh oh, like I just did that. And I was like, everyone's gonna kill me. I was like, but I don't care. Like it's, it'll, it'll, it'll be fun. And I, it was never like scary to me to put out to the world that I was happy or I was in love because like, I think I said this right away when it happened. If everything, I said this on Fallon. I was like, if everything was to go away because of it, because of me being happy, then it's not meant for me. You know, the most important thing is that I'm happy. And that's what my mom always taught me. And my dad always taught me is, we just want you to be happy. That's all we want for you is to just be happy. And so that I was finally the happiest that I've ever been. I was like, I've shared the entire, my entire life with the world. And that's what I told Kyla in the beginning is I was like, once you're ready to tell the world, I'm ready. Like they know everything about my life. I was like, but we're waiting until you're 100 fully percent ready because there's no turning back. And she was like, I was ready yesterday. Like it doesn't affect me. Like she's like, I know what I got into. You know what you got into. Like it's, it doesn't affect me at all what goes on and I was like all right great and so it was all it was all super smooth is the short version of the story